Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Facebook suffers massive loss overnight that could have shareholders in mass panic. The last couple of days on the stock exchange have been tumultuous for Facebook to say the least. It started yesterday but continued today as the tech-heavy Nasdaq fell sharply after Facebook missed predicted earnings. It sent the social media giant into a massive share price decline. They are on track to lose in the neighborhood of $100 billion in market value. As of the time of this writing, Facebook shares are down more than 19%. Not good. Facebook has lost about a fifth of their overall stock value. The Nasdaq 100 index was off by 1.2%. Facebook, however, was not alone in their misery. Amazon has lost roughly 2%. Netflix fell by more than 1.7% before slightly bouncing back. Google's parent, Alphabet, fell 0.2%. Rocky is an understatement for the tech market today. Twitter and Snap both fell as well, with Twitter by 2.5% and Snap by 3.1%. Investors did not see this coming. It happened after the Nasdaq Composite Index hit a record just yesterday. Before Facebook started falling at the end of yesterday, they had jumped 1% during regular trading. After the bell, things got messy. Facebook posted weaker than expected daily active users for the last quarter and reported that revenue growth would decline sequentially in the second half of this year. The Facebook guidance debacle will be a tough pill to swallow for the bulls and weigh on fang names as this comes on the heels of a Netflix miss as well last week, said Daniel Ives who is the head of technology research at GBH Insights. Facebook's outlook will cause worries on the street and that could spread to other names with stock multiples coming under attack. Facebook's nightmare guidance will spook tech investors with a near-term white-knuckle period ahead. It could cause a sort of contagion in the tech market that could see massive drops in values. We'll see. The loss overnight and today could send shareholders into a mass panic. With Facebook down more than 19%, they are on track for their biggest drop ever. Its previous biggest drop was a 12% fall in July of 2012 shortly after it went public. We are talking billions of dollars disappearing here. The good news is that the broader market is on much sounder footing at the moment. The SPDR S&P 500 ETF trust was just below break-even. Investors were more than likely encouraged by President Trump's comments following his meeting with European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker that hinted at the possibility of a trade deal between the US and the European Union. Trump got concessions out of the EU when everyone said it was impossible. Go figure. Forbes is saying that Facebook is slowing down and that people should get out of their stock. From Forbes. Facebook is slowing down. And unless Mark Zuckerberg can speed it up again, you should get out of its stock. I have no financial interest in the securities mentioned here. Before getting into that, Facebook stock fell 20% in pre-market trading on July 26. That $123 billion market capitalization wipeout had a simple cause, a slower-than-expected growth and profit forecast. To be fair, its daily average users, DAOs, increased 11% in the second quarter, but its 1.47 billion DAOs fell 10 million below the average of analysts' estimates compiled by Bloomberg. Its user base was unchanged in its biggest market, the US and Canada, at 185 million DAOs and fell 1% in Europe to 279 million DAOs according to its quarterly report. And its $31.2 billion revenues, which soared 42% in the quarter, were $130 million below analysts' expectations. Facebook's bad news bearer was CFO David Winner who said revenue growth rates would decline in the third and fourth quarters. When Facebook's top executives were asked on a conference call by analysts for more information on exactly how the company's financial future had changed so dramatically, they could not satisfactorily answer according to Bloomberg. It sounds like they don't know or are being cagey about their answers here. Part of the pain Facebook is feeling right now is that investments they have made are not paying off. For example, they paid $19 billion for WhatsApp in 2014, which does not charge for the service. By May of 2018, WhatsApp messages had tripled with approximately 1.5 billion users who were sending 65 billion messages via the WhatsApp mobile app and web client per day, according to Business Insider. It is unknown if that is boosting Facebook's revenue or hurting it. As an accountant, I would want to see those statistics in writing to figure it out. The revenue payoff from Facebook's $3 billion 2014 acquisition of Oculus VR is not very big either. In the third quarter of 2017, Facebook sold 210,000 Rift headsets at $399 apiece, generating about $84 million in retail sales. That's a poor return on investment. 
Digital advertising is also suffering and doesn't seem to be growing for Facebook these days. Forbes is also concerned about Zuckerberg himself, as they feel he is in over his head and cannot be displaced. We'll see. Whatever the reasons, it's been a rough week for Facebook and shareholders could be starting to eye the exits. Again, not good. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.